I said good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. So what we did in the previous lecture was uh, we are looking at different two-dimensional curves, and I said that in the next lecture, what we will start with is the three-dimensional uh, stuff. And by three-dimensional stuff, I mean to say cone, cylinder, sphere. So this will study under So I'll give you a simple idea. I mean, if you are in a three dimensional space, by three dimensional space, I mean to say there are three axes x, y, and z axis. If you take any point x, y, z, and I want its distance from the origin as a, this is the condition. What is the distance formula, anyone? Distance formula. Uh, under root uh, x square plus y square plus z square. Uh, Distance formula under root x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 yes, minus exactly. y1 bracket square, and same so with z this, also. So, if I want the distance between these two points, then that is under root x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square, which is same as uh, what Oroshiri said. But the distance formula is this under root of x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 plus z2 minus z1 whole square. So in this case, as x2, y2, and z2 are 0, so we get this. This is equal to a, which means that x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square. So if I collect all the points whose distance from the origin is a, then what you are getting is a sphere. Okay, so this is the equation of a sphere. But the distance in this case is, uh, I mean, uh, I'm calculating the distance from the origin. The similar manner, what I can do is, I can calculate it from some other point A, B, C. So second x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c 
whole square is equal to k square with origin 0, 0, 0. What this will be? Uh, so here with the point A comma B comma C. With the point uh, center. 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 Sphere with origin. A, B, C, third one. What is this? A line in the X, Y plane. But what is it in the three-dimensional space? A plane. Sir, plane. Why do you think so? Can you draw that plane? Oh, uh, yes. No, no. Z is equal to zero for every coordinate of it. X equal to zero for all. Z, Z is zero. Z is zero for every coordinate. So can you collect all those points for which Z is zero? <coughs> So let's let's see what it gives me. So uh, this is a algebra calculator and what I'm going to do is I'll simply put the equation here and see what do we get. Okay. So put y equal to x. And what we got. What is it? It is a plane. And what is happening? The If you consider that uh, red as the x-axis and the green as y-axis. Okay. So what you are getting? It's a plane. If you look at, I mean, if you just look at the x-y plane, on that you are getting a line. I need some response so that I'm assured that you are understanding what I am saying. So if green, red is the x-axis, y uh, is this green line, then if you look at just the xy plane, so there you will get a line. But uh, what is happening? y equal to x in a three-dimensional space is becoming a plane. So it says that it is independent of the Z coordinate. So the line is extended in upward direction as well as the lower direction. Uh, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, 
now now i will explain you why this is happening yesterday i uh, recalled one of the definition from your previous classes which is the locus and what does the locus says uh, definition of locus says that if you collect all the points if you collect all the points uh, which are satisfying this condition then what you get is actually the graph okay locus is nothing but the collection of all the points satisfying the given condition so uh, i want you to tell me 0 0 it will satisfy this condition yes if you look at 0 0 100 is it satisfying the condition yes if you go from 0 0 up to minus 100 this also satisfies this equation the answer is yes so no matter what the z coordinate is it will still satisfy the equation similarly 1 1 1 satisfies the equation y equal to x yes 1 100 satisfies the equation yes 1 1 minus 100 satisfies the equation yes okay so what i am going to do i'll simply draw the line y equal to x and as and as the z coordinate doesn't make any problem here what i can do is i can extend it over the z axis so this kind of structure you are going to get similarly in the negative direction okay so what remark we can draw here if some equation is absent oh sorry if some variable is absent in your equation then what happens is what happens is if say y is absent what will happen fast you didn't got what i said over if in some equation one of the variable is absent it's not there what we can do it can take any value can take any value what will happen to the graph this is a plane how do you got this plane uh this is a line on xy plane this is a line on xy plane on xy plane and the line is extended this is roughly i am speaking this is not actually mathematical uh line is extended parallel to z axis okay so as we saw that uh, the z coordinate doesn't play any role in satisfying this equation i can give any coordinate i mean any point z and it, the point will still satisfy the equation so this line is uh, taken in the upward direction also in the downward direction and whatever structure we get that is the graph of it now uh, for better understanding y square plus z square is equal to x square 
say uh, let's not make x square it will become a bit complicated at this stage uh, let's make it a square what will this be Uh, sphere of radius a anywhere on the x-axis mm -hmm. no what i said in the previous example you have the equation y equal to x on the xy plane you draw this that will become a line and as the z is absent you extend it parallelly to z-axis Use the same technique here, that's it. Whatever equations are involved, take that plane, draw the structure as the z is absent, or in this case, x is absent, extend it over the x axis. No one, Shivani. So, will it be a circle with uh, x axis passing through its center or something? On which plane? Uh, y z plane. On y z plane, it is a circle. Yes, but um, what will be in three dimensional space? Oh. Yes, complete your statement. X axis will be cutting through it. So, uh, so, um, okay. Sir, will it be cylinder? It will be a cylinder. Yes, Ajitya. So, uh, let's go to it. A graph. So now, what I will do is. Uh, I'll put the equation. Now uh, it is actually y square plus z square equal to. Uh, let's not put the parameter, let's put both. You can see what we have got here. So that is a cylinder. So okay. it means it cuts the YZ plane, right? Yes. So on the YZ plane, green line is uh, y and the violet one is z so on the yz plane if i look like this what we have got on the this green is y violet is z so on yz plane what i have got circle right now since my x variable is absent what i have done is I have extended this circle along the x-axis. So if I extend this circle along the x-axis, so what I have got is a cylinder. Uh, is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes. Let's go back here. So this is a cylinder. Along which axis? along x-axis for a better understanding later when you read it so what i will give is uh, in a bracket as x is absent x is absent hmm. 
you can draw the diagram here x y z axis so it will be a cylinder like this so it's x y z axis uh, just some small uh, things here x equal to 0 I should have took this earlier but fine now x equal to 0 what is it collect all the points whose x coordinate is 0 that will be Graphing is very interesting, let me tell you. But you will have to think on it. So when I say x equal to 0, what you have to do is you need to collect all the points in the three-dimensional space whose x coordinate is 0. easy I don't think it is so difficult to identify this sir y z plane y z plane exactly so this is a y z plane now y equal to 0 someone else then Aditya XZ plane and this is going to be XZ plane and Z is equal to 0 is going to be XY plane I'll do a small exercise as I don't think you are very much comfortable with this three dimensional space till now. So, what I will do is we'll do a small exercise. The exercises will make a cube over here. This is x axis, this is y axis, and this is z axis. length of each of the side is one unit so what i want you to do is now give me the coordinates so we'll start from a B, C, yes, I said each uh, side has length one unit. So, Q, what are the coordinates for A? One zero zero. One zero zero. B. One one zero. One one zero. X coordinate is one. The point lies on X Y plane, as you can see. The x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is 1, z coordinate is 0. C. 0, 1, 0. Uh, 0, 1, 0. Again, I can't uh, Someone else, uh, please don't repeat. Uh, 
I mean, I don't want the same person to give the answer. Someone else. D. Zero one one. Zero one one. Okay. E. One one one. One one one. F. One zero one. One zero one. Yes. And zero zero one. Zero zero one. Okay. Fine. Now we will uh, get to something bit complicated. Not so much complicated, but any guesses? Any guess? Uh, I just want to, the number of students I just raise your hand if you have gone through the lecture curve dressing that I told you yesterday. Just raise your hand if you have gone through the lecture. No one. Fine. No guesses on this? Look, that's why it is becoming difficult, okay, to so understand. I told you that you go through the lecture and that will be helpful. Okay, fine. Uh, observe, the, observe the pattern that is being followed, okay? So we have three X's, X, Y, and Z. I will look at what happens on the X, Y plane. On X, Y plane, the point Z is equal to zero. Uh, I mean, the Z coordinate is zero. Okay. So Z equal to zero, what do we get? X square plus Y square equal to zero. What is this? Which points are going to satisfy this on X, Y plane? Which points will satisfy this equation? X square plus Y square equal to zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Okay. So on the X, Y plane, there is just one point, zero, zero, zero. Now what I will do is I will look at the plane Z is equal to one. Is it a plane Z equal to one? How will it look like? Can you identify Z equal to one? As a coordinate, it is this, I mean, this. And if you collect all the points, which will satisfy this Z equal to one condition, so that will be a plane, which is just one unit above 
the x y plane if there is any problem with this let me know z is equal to 1 what i am saying it is a plane which is one unit a unit above the x y plane now i will see what happens on this plane okay so z is equal to 1 what is happening x square plus y square is equal to 1 what is this what is this circle of radius 1 so when you what what this tells me that when you go one unit upward from the xy plane originally there was just 1.000 but on z is equal to 1 what you are getting is a circle at z is equal to 2 what you are getting radius 2 circle the circle of radius 2 if you go again some units up then again into the circle so what do you expect this to be a cone it is a cone exactly but the structure can be like this or it can be like this i hope you are trying to get the difference here what i am saying is of course it is a cone but in the first case you get a structure like this or what you may get is a structure like this even these are circles how can we differentiate this to to identify the required structure this is x y and z axis this is x y and z axis how can we differentiate both of them in both the cases you can see the you are getting you are going to get the circles with uh, increasing radius as you go upwards from the xy plane using which observation or what you can observe and tell me that yes uh, it is a cone or it is this paraboloid this structure is called the paraboloid okay uh i'll tell you how can we see that uh we can uh, look at what is happening on the yz plane okay if it is the first case i will call this the case number 1 and i'll call this the case number 2 what you should get on the yz plane in the case number 1 yz plane what structure you are going to get on the yz plane a cone cone okay uh two dimensional cone so you will get two straight lines and in the second case a curve is there a which curve parabolic curve parabola is going to be there so from this equation how can i check what is happening on the yz plane what i should do so that i will be able to see what is happening on the yz plane what is the x coordinate on yz plane what is the equation of yz plane i should uh, frame it like this equation of yz plane is 
x equal to zero. So what I will do is I'll put x equal to zero. Put x equal to zero. So what do we get? Y square equal to z square. So y equal to plus minus z. When you take y is equal to plus z, you will get this line, this one. When you take y is equal to minus z, you will get this line. Is it clear to everyone why it is a cone now? So this is a cone along which axis? Z axis. Clear to everyone? Is there any difficulty here? No difficulty? No, sir. Okay. Fine. And this better to understand. Fine. Ninth. What is y square plus z square is equal to say x square? Now, cone along x axis, cone along x axis, exactly. So this is a cone along x axis. Similarly, the next one is x square plus z square equal to y square. This will be cone along. Y axis. Y axis. Y axis. Now we will head towards the next structure, the eleventh one. X square plus Y square is equal to Z. Look at different levels. Take z is equal to 1, what is happening? Take z is equal to 2, what is happening? z is equal to 3, what is going to be there? Then you will get some structure which is parallel to xy plane. Then you look at the yz plane, what is happening? And tell me. Paraboloid. Paraboloid. Okay. So uh, the first one at z is equal to zero. Again, you are getting single point zero zero zero. If you look at z is equal to one, what will happen? We'll get x square plus y square equal to one. The circle of radius one. On the plane z is equal to two, what is happening is x square plus y square is equal to two. Right, so uh, this is under root two square. So you are getting circles on y z plane. On y z plane, I want to see the equation of y z plane is x equal to zero. If you put x equal to zero in this equation, what we are going to get? Y square is equal to z 
which is parabola. Parabola on YZ plane. So if we combine all this, what we will get? Structure like this. So if I change here x square plus y square equal to minus z. what will happen it will be downwards yes so this direction will be changed so this is a paraboloid opening towards positive z axis this is paraboloid. Opening towards negative z axis. Twelfth and thirteenth. Y square plus z square is equal to x square. Thirteenth one x square plus z square equal to oh sorry not square yes these are again the paraboloid. Opening towards positive x axis. This is also paraboloid. Opening towards. positive y axis i hope all the solid figures are clear now so i am with a lot of confidence i am going to give you this to examine what is what is this Yes. Yes, what is it? Anyone? An extended uh, parabola over z axis. Exactly. So, on. Uh, sir. Yes. And also in this uh, parabola, the straight line passes through the origin when we take x is equal to zero and same for y. Hmm. Yes. So on the y z plane, y z and this is x. 
so what is happening here is y square is equal to 4x this is a parabola which is opening towards positive x axis on the xy plane and as the z coordinate is absent this will extend over the z axis like this so this kind of structure is something that you will get i'll just quickly see what happens in the so uh, let me just conclude here that these are all the solid figures that we have seen uh, the basic part which is required for multiple integrals the double integral triple integral is done here uh, in the next lecture what i will do is uh, i will start with the uh, tools of integration only not exactly the tools but what i will do is i'll uh, just write down a lot of formulas that uh, we can use and in the next lecture we'll start with the double integral case before uh, ending up the lecture i'll just we'll just see the diagrams of of the structures that we have studied till now so so we saw the cone x square plus y square is equal to set square so we can see that look on the xy plane what is happening here huh. on the xy plane you have just one point you go one unit upward again circle 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 now what i want to see what happens on the yz plane so y z plane i will have to look like this so on the y z plane green and violet are the y and z axis so what we have got here we have got the two lines this one the other one is this okay now i can make the according changes here so i can make x square plus z square is equal to y square so look now the orientation of the cone is changed right we saw that this cone is opening towards the y axis and you can see that the green line is our y axis and the now cone is along the y axis now let's make a change in this remove the square the paraboloid x square plus z square equal to y so again if you put y equal to 0 and all Uh, so at y equal to zero, point y equal to one circle, and circles are there. And if I want to see what is happening on the y z plane, I'll put x equal to zero, and you will get a parabola, parabola like this. Okay, fine. And the last structure, y square is equal to y square is equal to x. so it is a parabola opening towards the positive x axis so this is our positive x axis the red one if you look from along the z axis you are getting a parabola on the y z plane x xy plane and then since the z axis is absent it is extended and we get this kind of structure fine we'll stop here now